Got some extra overalls. Some bologna and cheese. Some white bread. Cup of coffee. And some toilet paper. We're going someplace I've never been. A place called Sandy Cooper Reservoir. Years ago, in my younger day, one of my first recollections of hearing about a really big catfish was in Sandy Cooper Reservoir. Man, what a busy place. I hate getting gas here. And I'll bet that pump still got a plastic bag over it, broke down. It's about the only one easy for me to get my boat on. No, some dude's parked there. Trying to get gas pulling a boat can be a hassle. I've rode around this thing right here 45 times before I ever got me a spot. By the time I finally got my gas, uh, the fish had already quit biting. There we go, I'll ride around here 45 more times, I guess. Hoping for a spot. I'm just assuming if it's a six hour drive, I'm gonna need a full tank of gas, so we got gas. Now who is this standing outside the ATM machine? Are they begging for money or what? How much of a while is it gonna be? Fifteen? Yeah. Cause I'm going to South Carolina. I need some cash. Yeah. Just get yeah, go to a drive-thru and you'll just get out of your town there. Yeah. Hey, can I pull this boat through there all right? Yeah. We starting out with all kind of problems this morning. Now the ATM machines broke down. You don't leave town without no extra cash. It's going to be dark before I ever get out of this bank. Well, this line ain't moving. I guess I'll go inside. I guess I'll just go inside. Round and round the bank we go. When we stop, no one knows. When we get out of here, no one knows either. I'm about tired of this. Now where do you park this boat at this little bitty bank? Since the ATM don't work, since you can't go through the drive-thru obviously, because that one person in front of me is obviously setting up an address and gonna live there, I guess I'll just pull right out here and I'll block this car or anybody else from pulling in here. There we go. I'll block the whole town from getting money if I can't get money. Ugh. One reason I hate going in the bank is because they make you wear a dag blasted mask just to go in there. Now if I was working in a bank, the last thing I would want to see is somebody walk through the door with a mask on. But that's what they want you to do. Yes, ma'am. I talked to you just a little while ago about renting a motel room coming from Tennessee. Yeah, you still got that? For tonight? I mean, tomorrow night? Uh, well, uh, I was hoping for tonight since I'm on the way now. Oh, honey, I don't have anything for tonight. Oh, it's for tomorrow night. Yeah, I don't have anything tonight. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> yep. Um, and then, I mean, you're already on your way? Yeah. yeah. i tell you what, you might want to call over to Canal Lake Fish Camp. Okay. Stay right across the street from us. Yeah. Okay, Canal Lakes Fish Camp. Yeah. Okay, let me try them and then I, I might be calling you back about tomorrow night. I don't know. Here is the problem that I'm facing. I tried to stay at Black Camp. They're booked up. So I call this lady over at Hills, uh, whatever, Hills Landing. She said she had a room. I thought it was for tonight. There ain't no room for tonight. It's just one for tomorrow night. That means I'm going somewhere down here, six hours from the house, and uh, I don't know where I'm gonna stay. So this could be an interesting trip. I'm gonna call this lady, what, whatever they, whatever she called it, the uh, canal, blah, 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 blah. Let me look them up and call them. Cause I really don't wanna have to keep this boat at a motel I'll wake up in the morning there won't be no batteries or tires left on it. I don't understand this people on these on-ramps. The on-ramp was designed so that you can build up to the speed of traffic as you come on the interstate. So here this car is coming on the ramp, they're ahead of me. Instead of hitting the gas and getting over, he puts on the brakes. And now here he comes like a raging maniac. I shouldn't have had to let him on because he was so far ahead of me at one point, all he had to do was get over. I expected him to use some common sense. That didn't happen. Hey, yes ma'am, uh, you wouldn't possibly have a room for me to stay in tonight, would you? Yeah, just for tonight? Uh, I, I, I mean, I may stay two nights. Uh, right now, I do have a couple open. Oh, okay. Um, Where are you coming from? Uh, East Tennessee. Uh, you gonna be here before 8 o'clock? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, sh I should be there before 5 o'clock. Alright, well, just come on in and we'll take care of you. Woo! Well, in my mind, I'm going to Carolina Can't you see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moonshine? Man, I, I'm way up in the sky here. The problem with going down a hill like this is the fact that I'm going to have to come back up it on the way home. All right, people, we just about here. We in the town across South Carolina. Uh, I just stopped off in some parking lot there and peed in a bottle. It took me way longer to get here than I was supposed to because of all the traffic malfunctions. Either way, uh, it says I'm 3.9 miles from my destination. It's been a drive. I hope the catfish bite is alive when I get here. Because this was a long way to go for the bite to be slow. Dang, people. I hope this GPS taking me to the right spot. I'm out here in the middle of dirt roads and everything else. Gosh dang gates closed. What? Stupid GPS man. This is where we're at. Canal Lakes Fish Camp. It was the only one that had an open room. That might not be a good sign. Private drive, private property under surveillance, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
I've never been to a fish camp before. I snuck in a nudist camp one time when I was a teenager down in Florida. It was nothing but old people. There wasn't nothing there you wanted to see. There's a sign that says live hearing. Uh, I don't know where the dang office is. We're going to pull right here. There's another big catfish boat. Well, all right, people. Uh, I think the game plan is to stay right here tonight. There's a boat ramp right here. I've got this little beat up trailer room in the back. It ain't pretty by no means. I've already seen two people that know who I am here and I've uh, talked to them. I got me a little dinner here from Mac Daddy's, which is part of the fish camp here. Got me a Philly, chip, Philly steak and cheese. Some fries. And uh, I'm going to eat this. And we're probably going to launch the boat right here this evening. I can tell you now. This is one busy, popular place right here. There's a Philly steak and cheese from Mac Daddy's. And got the big old style steak fries. All right, people. We don't have long before dark. It took me quite a while to get the boat launched. There was a huge amount of boats put in the river. Uh, this is a popular place. Now I've heard from I don't know how many people, some of these are experienced cat guys. I actually knew some people uh, down here and uh, nobody's catching much of nothing right now from everybody I've talked to, whether it's drifting the canal, up or lower lake, it don't matter, fishing shallow, uh, you know, it just don't matter. Nobody's catching squat. So either way, I figure if they're not catching squat anywhere just to, for tonight I'm going to start off here in this uh, diversion canal I'm just right up from uh, the camp there water temps in the 50s so I've got two baits thrown on drift sinkers right here in the shallow entrance and then I've got one bigger bait just over the drop off ledge here I'm getting a little bite on that drop off bait now I found out as I was buying my license for this place, that uh, my skipjack are illegal here. So what we're using for this video uh, is American Shad because they look just like skipjack. The mosquitoes are pretty dang bad right now. I'm just trying to get the skunk out of the boat. Very swift current in this diversion canal right now. Getting another little twitch on the left. Well, we know the small fish are biting. There's a bite. There's a bite. Fish on, fish on,
That fish hit shallow. Ain't no whopper. But everybody says they ain't catching nothing out here. Skunks out of the boat, people. Sandy Cooper Reservoir. All right, people, the bite definitely isn't on fire in this canal, like they said. I was told by some people at the ramp, I come down here at one of the worst times of year, it being a transition period. But either way, I wanted to come out when I first got here, try the ramp out, get the skunk out of the boat. We'd done that, so I'm, gonna, I'm about a quarter mile up from the camp. I'm probably going to pull out in the channel and drift back. I got to go ahead and start unpacking the truck and getting stuff in the room because we got a full day out here tomorrow. Well, here it is, y'all. It's got a hole cut in the screen because they don't have a plug in for your boat. So I guess they made you a hole in the screen so you could plug your boat in. I got everything out of the boat except for my Yeti cooler uh, comes equipped with mildew smell not many windows couple saggy mattresses small bathroom Woo! we styling we at the Marriott the only thing I'm worried about is I left my Yeti cooler in the boat but if they get that, all they're going to get is a bunch of ice, bologna, cheese, and uh, American shad. All right, people. It's the next morning. I didn't sleep 10 minutes on this bed. I promise you that. Yeti cooler still out there. Guess they didn't want no American shad. All right, people, this is where I'm staying. I got me a breakfast sandwich over there at Mac Daddy's and a coffee. I'm fixed to load this boat up. I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna attempt to fish for some white perch because I need something besides these American shad. And uh, so I got me some small hooks and some red worms and I'm drop weight. Might be successful, might not. I ain't never caught no white perch. All these cat fishermen around here, man, they get out there at 5 a.m. It's about 7.30. And the only reason I got up that early is because I didn't sleep. I ain't getting up at no 5 a.m. for nothing. Little for now, little for later. Y'all, this is crazy out here. It looks like the ocean out here. I ain't never been on nothing this big. Good Lord. This is right where the uh, canal flows into the main lake. A lot of boats out, bass tournament going on. I'll tell you what, you don't want to be far out on this lake in a little boat if a storm pulls up. Plus they got gators in here. I feel like I'm out in the middle of the Atlantic. Let's hope for calm seas and to not get skunked today. All right, people, we ain't catching jack squat out here in the middle of the ocean. I've had a couple small bites. That's it. Also, I'm not getting the first white perch out here. I don't know if these fish like American shad. There may be nothing but gators and sharks this far out. I'm gonna cruise up shallower and uh, we might double anchor in some still water where I think there's some bait fish around. Cause as far as this area here, there don't seem to be no fish in town. So let's cruise on up that way and try plan B. All right, y'all, I'm anchored back here in the shallow water by Black's camp. I'm double anchored in seven foot. I still can't catch no dag blasted white perch. 
Either way, I got a couple red worms in the water waiting on them. Three baits scattered out. I'm fishing Tennessee style, only using American shad. I caught one last night on American shad. I've had a few bites. I know they'll eat it. It's uh, 10, 21 a.m. We're still officially in what I call the morning bite. We're not in the hour of suck yet. When it hits the hour of suck, I may go get some lunch, I don't know. So far the bite's been slow. I'm down here at the Mecca of catfishing and I ain't caught jack squat other than one fish last night. We'll see if something will bite. Gonna get in that other anchor rope. Not a bad fish at all. Looks like the bite is shallow. Uh, this isn't a bad fish in Fort Loudon. It's hard to get fish like this. I mean, that's not a bad fish at all. That's a quality fish, man. Sandy Cooper, the mecca of catfishing. Well, I'll tell you what, people. I know how to catch a catfish, but I sure ain't figured out a way to catch one of these dag-blasted white perch. I drifted coming down the canal. I fished for them out there. I fished for them back here. Anywhere I'm at, there ain't no white perch near. So, either way, I got some bologna and cheese down in there with that American shad. I'm getting hungry. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, people. We're getting up into the heat of the day. I'm gonna ride around this back bay here and uh, I'm gonna see if I can't mark some bait fish. It's gonna take a while for me to go through this. There's a ton of cypress trees and stuff 
uh, sticking up everywhere out here. There's a lot of shallow spots. I'm anchored in seven foot of water right here and this is actually a deep section. I think I'm gonna do some exploring. I'd like to see if I could catch one of them dag blasted white perch. people. Uh, this is a diversion of the diversion canal. The fish I caught this morning was in more of a backwaters uh, out of the current and that water was 61 degrees. This is 58. I've got some current in here. It is four foot of water. Something I found while driving around on my boat here after I got me a bite to eat. And that here is actually a piece of white perch, which is pretty popular bait here. So I'm gonna throw this just on one rod, and then I got American Shad, and I'm gonna put another American Shad way over here to the left. I've already got a fish on video, two fish on video. I'm just here to relax. I'm just gonna enjoy the scenery now and see what happens. So far, all I'm getting is some channel cat action on that middle rod. White perch hasn't had a nibble. I believe that old channel cat done hooked himself. Yeah, old Sandy Cooper Channel Cat. That was a big piece of bait when he started on it. And he kept going until he found the hook. was a channel cat. Sir? All I caught last night was a channel cat. I caught it sitting right here. But uh, now my biggest one went about 30 pounds and I caught it over there by Black Camp up in cellar water. I caught one out here in this canal uh, not poured out of blue about 12 pounds. It's been pretty slow. They're real real slow. I said I watched your videos last night. Did it? Have a good one, brother. You too. This trip here was pretty much just a catfish vacation. I done more driving, more time sitting in a restaurant, more time laying around in the bed than I did actual fishing. It was convenient. Everything was right on the water, had a place to sleep, had food to eat. Boat ramp was right there. Didn't have to drive nowhere once I got here. The bite wasn't hot, and everybody said the bite was kind of slow this weekend. Transition time. There's an old channel cat. But I've heard about this place since I was a kid. Some place I always wanted to go see. Now I can say I've been to Sandy Cooper. I'd say I'll come back here one day when I know the bite is better somewhere up in spring or in the fall. I'm sure that time of year you could really have a ball. The main thing is I drove six hours and didn't get skunked. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day from Sandy Cooper Reservoir. Signing out. Mm -hmm.